Hi, welcome to VMware Tutorial for Beginners. In this series, we are learning how to make a home lab with VMware Workstation step-by-step -step for network and system administration practices. In the previous video, we have worked with importing virtual machines on the library. We connected to VMware Workstation and ESXA server to manage and administer remote virtual machines. Then we mapped virtual drive to the system and showed you how to attach it to multiple VMs with data inside. Today we will go one step further to build our lab by converting physical systems to virtual machine and we will import and export virtual machine to our lab. So let's get started. First we will export and import virtual machines. Then we will go for the conversion. Here on our library we have a Ubuntu 18.4 LTS. We will export this virtual machine. We will convert it as a OVF package or open virtualization format package. First select the virtual machine. Then on the export to OVF. File name is Ubuntu 18.4 and save as type open virtualization machine format OVF or OVA. So click save. So it will take some time. It's finished exporting. Now if we go to the export folder we can see there is three files. First one is the MF or manifest file. This file contains the hash value of these two files. If we open this file on the notepad, we can see that this OBF package and BMDK package, this is the hash value. And this is the open virtualization format package. And this one is the hard disk. So from the workstation, if we delete the virtual machine so to import the virtual machine from the OVF package we can double click the package or select open with VMR workstation it starts the import virtual machine wizard store the new virtual machine name of the virtual machine and this is the location we are setting the location here now click import this is very simple exporting from the VMware workstation as a OBF package we can transfer the package to another system even we can uh, import the OBF package to the ESXi server also so we can import and export virtual machine very really easily from the VMware workstation here you can see the same package the same virtual machine so we have seen how to import and export virtual machine from the workstation let's do the physical system conversion now we need to go to file and virtualize a physical machine this feature of VMware workstation requires the VMware vCenter converter standalone product so it's a different product to convert the physical system we need this vCenter converter standalone and here it shows the download link if you go to the download link this is the software package 171 megabyte I have already downloaded the package let's run it with the administrator privilege Agree the terms in license agreement. Local installation. Click next. Join the VMware custom experience. Not that necessary. Click install. Now the installation is complete. Click finish. We need to run the vCenter converter with the administrative privilege otherwise it could give us error during the conversion so it shows us the source type powered on or powered off machine of course powered on because we are converting our local host system this local machine specify the powered on machine view source details 
I have few hard drive here. I will not include all these disks with this virtual machine. So I will exclude this later. Click next. And it says the select the destination type. We will make it a VMware workstation or other VMware virtual machine. So I will make a VMware workstation image. Select VMware product. It's okay. Name lab and set the location. Click next. And it says the size of the source disk will exceed the capacity. Okay, so we are unchecking the last two drive. I don't need this. And I am selecting the destination type will be not pre allocated or this will be the thin disk. We click next. Now it shows us the configuration detail. Now click finish. So it is showing us the time to take the conversion. So I'm pausing the video. So I'll come back when the conversion almost finished. The destination location actually my SSD drive. That's why it is transferring with 220 megabyte per second. And it shows the estimated time remaining 16 minutes. The conversion is almost finished. It's updating its log, updating driver later for the destination volume layout, complete cloning volume C and everything. It is almost finished. It's completed the conversion. Now let's minimize it and open the virtual machine location. This is the machine. Now open with VMR workstation. Let's upgrade the virtual hardware because it was converted with the VMR workstation 11 compatibility. Now we need to make it 15. Click next and alter this virtual machine. Reconfiguration of the virtual hardware done. As it converted from the physical system, my host memory was 64 gig. So I need to reduce this. Eight one nine two. This is eight gig. Processor one core should be four. We can virtualize Intel VT and virtualize CPU performance counter. We don't need floppy drive. And we don't need this three LAN interface. We don't need USB controller, sound card, serial port. This will be okay. So we have customized our system. Now let's power on the machine. Let's log in. Now after conversion, we need to install VMware tools with it. restart we can see that all the installed software from the host system all are intact on the virtual machine so on our lab we have imported virtual machine and imported also physical system by converting them so this is it for today in the next video, we will work with the virtual machine. We will create snapshot, clone, and we will work with the virtual machine details. So thank you for being with me. And if you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. 
it will encourage me a lot to create more videos for you so thank you and i'll see you on the next video bye